Hey y'all, happy Tuesday to you. I've got something really exciting to talk to you about today. Um, I reached a personal goal. Uh, hold on, I need to pull up something so I can talk to you about it too. On my Carolyn Manny designs. She is releasing a lot of designs right now. She doesn't know me and I'm not sponsored, but I love her work. I love her work. I swore I wouldn't do any more full coverage, but I got this one and um, it was gifted to me. And I'm working on this piece right here. They're separate pieces or all together pieces. It doesn't matter. Um, but I'm working on this one right here. And I'm halfway. I reached the halfway point. So I'm super, super excited over that. Um, I still don't have one of the colors, but I will get it eventually. But let me show you. Isn't she beautiful? Like, she's missing some of the colors. And it's just off-white. It's, uh, color 746. But, um, I'll get it. I'll get it. Now it's called, recommended you do it on a gray piece of fabric, and I see why because my some of my colors are blended into this pink fabric. So the next piece that I do, I may writ dye a white piece of fabric to gray and do it that away and see how that comes out. I, I don't know, but Carolyn Manning Designs and Soda Stitch are my absolute favorites absolute favorites and I really kind of want to get going on a another um, Glendon Place uh, piece because um, I've been doing the dessert series and I did plum pudding and I did rainbow parfait and I have term soup but I got to print it out but these are the the dessert line and I'm going to eventually get them all. I may have to track them down on eBay or something like that. I don't know. But I will get them and uh, slowly start doing those again. I also, if you remember, I did that 40 inch tall band sampler. Tapestry Weaver's band sampler. And um, she has another one out that back in 2019. Um... It's called the Animal Band Sampler. And I really want to get into that one. Um, I think that would be pretty cool to do. It's saying for that one, the fabric 14 count, because I only used to do it on 14 count, is a strip of fabric that is 20 inches by 43 inches. So it's going to be a big girl. It's going to be a big girl, but she does it in bite sized pieces. That's what I like about those. They're very bite sized pieces and um they're easier to do that away so super excited about that i want to start that uh, i don't know when i'm going to do that and get it all kitted up and everything but i'm going to do it in a variegated i know that i've got to find a variegated yarn, uh, thread that i like um i think i'm gonna wander away from purple i think i'm gonna go with some like a reddish white red red and white variegated maybe I don't know. Um, there's silk that is uh, variegated. I probably will never use that because it's expensive. It's super expensive. So I'll probably stick to with DMC on this. So anyway, um, that's what she and I love about that is uh, this is her her blog spot is magical quilts and um, she does it in two colors, which is blue and white um, my last one I did it all purples and white so I'm thinking this one I want to do a a variegated DMC and go from there so anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching tomorrow is MRI day of my back so hopefully we'll get some answers and um, yeah yeah it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting day um, I gotta do CT scan, 
I'm back in physical therapy three times a week. <sighs> craziness. Just craziness. But, uh, anyway. And I want to crochet, but I can't figure out what I want to crochet. I don't know if I want to do an entrelac blanket, which I kind of really want to do. Um, or I want to do a C to C, or... I just want to do something mindless. Super easy, mindless stuff. So... I may also want to do a drop in there goes the clock um, a drop in the pond blanket um, I've done one of those before but I want to kind of do another one so drop in the pond is by Elizabeth Ham she's an amazing teacher she's in Texas and um, you can find her old videos on YouTube so Anyway, guys, y'all take care. I love you much, and spread peace, love, and kindness wherever you go, um, and smile. Everybody smile. It's good for you. Love you guys.